I'm just going to make a real quick video on my roach setup so that I can show you some things that I've learned with these roaches here. I've got both uh, hissers and dubia roaches that I'm trying to breed. I uh, bought them online. They came in a nice cup. It was in this cup so they could get some air. And in the, this box back here, I don't know if you can see it. As you can see, I have an egg carton they need to hide. I also have a... Uh, it's just in a tank. I have a line of Vaseline because the hissing cockroaches can climb the glass. I also have a heating pad underneath that hopefully I can show you here. Let's see, here it is. Just this little heating pad under there. The uh, Both hissing and dubia roaches need it to be a little warmer if you're going to breed them. I have a couple breeding pairs, but I haven't had any of them breed yet. Hopefully soon. So now let's uh, show you the sizes they are right now. Uh, the best time to feed them to a chameleon is when they are white. They look like they're albino, but that means they just shed their skin. So they're all nice and squishy. Let me put one in a cup here so I can show you. Uh, yeah, there's one that's just shed its skin. So he's all soft and very easy for the chameleon to eat and digest. You can see I have a food little bowl here with uh, dog food in it, and sometimes I'll put a piece of fruit or vegetable. I have some milk caps here, and I use that for water. I also use this sponge for water and humidity. If the uh, roaches are having a hard time shedding, it's because it's too humid, and if they aren't growing and breeding, it's because they... Uh, need more heat. So that's an easy way to tell. So now let's uh, show you some different sizes that I have and show you the difference on how to tell the sexes apart. I do have, I haven't cleaned this for two weeks so you can see how much poop is in there. Uh, some accumulated here. They haven't, um, I, I cleaned it two weeks ago and these t these adults are too big for me to feed to the chameleons but these are the ones that I'm trying to breed so uh, a good feeding size, let me see here, would be, there's a good one, yep, yeah. so when they're about this big, that is a good size for me to feed to the chameleon. Uh, this is a, this is an adult that just shed his skin. So I'm actually just going to pick him up and show you. He's nasty. This is a hisser. Uh, it, it looks like a male. And that is a big nasty one, so watch out. You'll notice he didn't hiss, but they do eat their skin when they shed it. So I just... Uh, so there's his skin that he just shed, but I interrupted him so he's not going to eat it. So let me show you the difference between the uh, genders of the cockroaches. Let's see, this is a, let's start with the dubias, that's the easiest. They all look the same until they are adults. So here is a male dubia. He's pretty quick. There we go. Well, oh. gonna have to just grab him. There we go. So the male dubia, as you can see, has wings. He's very shiny. Uh, these cannot climb glass. They can't fly. They do have wings, but they can't fly. Uh, let's see here. There's a female. And you see how easy it is compared to a cricket to catch? You just pick them up, no problem. Crickets, I'd be trying to get these tweezers in there for hours. So this is a female, no, no wings. Um, so that's easy to tell the genders apart. The hissers aren't as easy to tell apart. So this is a... oops. He just got away from me. That I just saw a dubia that was one shed away from being an adult. So I could show you that size. But most of them I have are this size. And that's a perfect size to feed the chameleon. I'll feed them one or two a day if I have enough, but just one a day is all I need to feed them. And they're still gaining weight with that. Now this is a, I just showed you a shed 
male hisser. You can hear him hissing a bit. So this is the male hisser, much bigger than the Dubias. This one is a small one too, because I did this was before I bought the heating pad. So they didn't uh he didn't grow full size, but he's still a male and he is he's he can breed. This is a female. I got the warmer uh tank, so this is much bigger. She's very scared running around. So this is a female and she it's uh she has smaller bumps on her head than the male does. She's not as noisy. She doesn't hiss. So that's how you tell those apart. And she, and you'll notice they can climb glass. She can just stay in there very easily, no problem. So that's why I have this Vaseline layer so that she can't climb on top of that. And let's see if I can demonstrate that for you. There she goes. She gets to the Vaseline layer and oh, I don't like that very much. So she just stops and she, you'll notice her feet are slipping. I don't know if you can see it real well, but she just won't cross that layer. I've never had one escape and I, you're, I should have this about twice this thick, but, uh, I haven't ever had any escape. So no big deal. Let's see if I've covered everything. Um, yeah, I have it dark. So as far as the tank size goes, I currently have them in this. I should separate them probably, but if t well, I'll see once the babies are born, if they eat each other's babies, but if not, I'll just go ahead and keep them in there. I don't care. I do have this uh, smaller three or uh, two gallon tank, two or three gallon uh, tank that I had them in before. You can see this, uh, another Vaseline layer there. But once I started getting more, I went ahead and put them in the five gallon. It doesn't matter. I could have all these in there and they would be just fine. It's just easier for me to work with this one. And I like the light and everything. Yeah, I usually just catch them and I put them in this cup. And then I'll carry this cup over to my chameleon tank so I don't have to hold the bug. And I'll just catch them with, this with the tweezers. Uh, this one... This is a dubia that is about to become an adult. Excuse me for just grabbing them. So this is the size, this is one shed away from being an adult. So you can't tell if it's a male or a female. Same with the hissers. I had the hissers for several months and they just weren't growing or shedding. This is a, yeah. So they, the hissers were all uh, pretty small and they stayed that way for two months. I got the heating pad and... Uh, one month they were all adults, so they all grew very quickly once I got that heating pad. And the only thing you have to look out for is mold. They don't like mold, so if I put fruit or vegetable in there, I'm going to take it out after a day or two so I can't have any mold in there. So I hope that answers your questions. If you have any, please leave them in the comments, and I will try to answer them. But uh, I think that should do it. Adios.